Hey guys. Welcome back. We're back. <laughs> We're not doing the standard intro today because apparently Dan left. Yeah. I don't, he must have got a job opportunity and wants us to take over. So we're going to see how this goes with us today. We're playing Resident Evil 2, the remake. I've never, I've only played RE5 and RE4. I haven't played any other. I played RE4, 5, and I played this one and the remake of 3. How about 6? You played 6 yet? No, no, I'm never going to touch that one. Okay. It's... Okay, that's, that's kind of, that's disturbing. What is, oh, it's, oh, it's a, oh, it's a si that's why I don't eat fast food anymore, because that looks disgusting. It was, a uh, very realistic, uh. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely realistic. So, we're, uh, going to be doing a little bit of Resident Evil 2, yep. and uh, we're going to be doing it as Claire, which yep. is canonical, you Claire first, then Leon. Yep. So... Yeah, this is Leon Kennedy's first appearance, right? This was before yes. he became a super badass in RE4? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I told Dan this last time. Uh, what I find funny about Leon is that this is a, he moved to Raccoon City to uh -huh. become a cop, and he's like, this is like amateur cop. First, yeah. First day in the job. First day in the job, right, yeah. The only reason why he survives is because, at least in the original game, he slept in for his late shift. <laughs> so, he so he basically pulled the... Uh, yeah. He, so he basically um, pulled the ash catcher where he overslept. Yes. That's the only reason why he survived. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, and I think there's a back, there's like a comic backstory in the old game where it was like he had a breakup with his girlfriend, and so he just was like super upset about it and drank and just like and he overslept. And overslept. So he basically got drunk, overslept, and then ended up on the night shift, and then everything went to hell. Yes. Whoa, jeez. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. That's uh. <laughs> uh oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna leave a mark, like a very interesting mark. Possibly someone really likes the first Terminator. <laughs> yeah, Rob, yeah, that's definitely very like reminiscent of that. Um, yeah. Uh, also, I think canonically speaking, this takes place two months or three months after the first game. After, for, yeah. So right. Chris Redfield is now in Paris. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh oh. D dude, dude, don't. So this part bugs me. It's like he is obviously it's a zombie. Yeah. Yeah. He hit he hit that zombie at like what sixty miles an hour. Yeah, even like, all her bones should be smashed. Yeah, yeah, even I mean, even in any zombie movie, when you hit them with the car, they're dead. Yep. But I'm sorry, but that was not good because it's like it's not good. I like her jacket. Yes. I want to. If I could get that jacket, I would. I don't know if I would look good in red. You know. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's probably a, like a male style version of that jacket. It's just cool, you know. It's got the yeah. phoenix on the back of it and everything. Actually, yeah. So yeah, now Claire is looking for her brother because she hasn't heard from him in right. two months. Right, right, right. Because in the first game, he went to the Arclay Mountains in Resident Evil One, yes. and then he got transferred there, right? And huh. he got transferred to France. Oh no, no, no. He um he found out what Umbrella was doing and everything, so he took oh. a leave of vacation. But secretly, he's investigating the. European branch of Umbrella in oh, Paris. Oh, okay. Yeah. Claire's kind of hot. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Claire is very attractive. So, for this game and three, they use two different models to play the character. Okay. Have the, what? The, Why? That that bugs me. Why can't you just use the same model? Well, because, so, they have, um, they have, ooh, okay, so i got to get used to this controls in a while. Yeah. Um, so they have the... Dingo boy, red cigarettes! Yes. That's... Your... Fun. Your... The best choice, the best choice to kill yourself yep. by smoking. <laughs> Get Dingo Reds today. Dingo. Dingo. Um, so yeah, they have the voice actress who does the voice and the uh, the motion capture, and then they have a model, like an actual model does the face. Oh, okay. And do like facial expressions. They did that for also with uh, Jill Valentine, was that they have an American... three, yeah. Yes, a, 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 an American actress does the voice and body, then this like Russian model did the face. Okay, so that's why the things are really weird. Yes. I don't know why you just can't do the same person. They want to have a specific look. Uh, I and guess. And because, you know, well, a lot, like, they got a European actress, a model, yeah. they have to have an American. Anybody here? No! Claire, run away! Nobody's here! You're gonna die! So what's interesting about the progression of the horror slash action of the series uh -huh. is, uh, so in Resident Evil 2, this one specifically, Claire is a, just a regular civilian who has right. uh, at-home training from her military family. And Leon is a rookie cop, right? And so you know they're not that great. They're they're they know how to fire a gun, but right, right. It's basically supposed to be like survival horror, yeah. where you're just kind of like brought into situation. Every time I play a RE4, yeah. I always kind of 
and put myself in there. And I always picture myself as Leon Kennedy, but I'm just like, dude, I'm just trying to get back to the embassy yeah. and get home. And then I just have to kind of like, like, you know, like, like slowly fight my way through it, but like just be like average skills. So I try to put myself in every character I play. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, if I was in this situation, I don't know if I could handle it as well as both Claire and Leon did because I'm like, I'd be freaking out the entire time. <laughs> Definitely. Um, you know? And then, yeah, and then the third game that just came out a couple months ago was that Jill is an experienced military from now, like, special right. cop. She's a little bit better, so it's a little more action-y. Right, right. And, Where this is just supposed to be survive by seat your pants. Yes. No! Everything is uh, not okay! This he, guy is... He had it, and then Claire got her killed. Yeah. Ah! Ah, ah, dude, dude, he's it's really, bitey, ooh, it's really he's a little bitey, he's a bite, and he's got a tongue thing, that's not good. That's like, that's like Blade 2. Oh, no, he like ripped out his entire throat. Yeah, that's like, that's like some Blade 2 crap. Uh, yeah, Claire, like yelling at him is going to stop him. There you go, head, ooh. Yeah, yeah it head, takes multiple headshots. Yeah? Oh, oh that's, ugh, yeah, and you only have five shots, so good luck. Yep, it's my tiny little revolver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiny little revolver versus an army of the undead. Good luck, Claire. Well, good luck. You uh, you do upgrade. Ooh, pizza. Ooh, pizza. Ooh, key. This is very like reminiscent yeah. of the of the like. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. That's how it's into. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. You can tell. You can tell. It wasn't... I don't. Well, this is well, this is canonically supposed to take place in 1998. I don't know. Those are actual like. No. 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 I was gonna say, you can tell this is like a like a security office for a guy yeah, because yeah. he's got he's got pictures of pictures of women on yeah. the wall, and I'm like, you can tell you can tell he's oh, a very lonely, he's, lonely man. He's a lonely man. Lonely, lonely man. So he's back. Oh yeah, so I think the guy the 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 cop locked me out. Of course he did because reasons. What the hell? Why would you do that? So I, think I don't know because he's trying to because he heard a scream. Uh oh. Come on, dude, really? Yeah. These guys take off. There we go! Is he, he's still not dead, huh? Nope. Jeez! How many, how many bullets can these guys take? A lot. No! Nope, and I get bit. Uh, uh, nope! Ah! I'm okay. He's bitey! He's bitey! Dude, ask for consent next time! Ask for consent, please, because that is not, that is not appropriate! That is not appropriate to be doing that. <laughs> Thank you. So, I'm uh, sorry, but if somebody like tried to do that to mine, I'd be like, no, dude, personal space, personal <laughs> space. The mic will pick it up. The sound come, the locking sounds come from the control. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Claire, can you close the door behind you? Oh, another zombie. Oh, jeez. I would not be well. I would ah! not. Look out! There's not much I can do. I don't have a. Ah, more bitey. Ah. <laughs> more bites. Get out of there. No, someone save me. No. Wow, jeez! They're coming from everywhere! If only a cool cop will show up right now. <laughs> there he is! That Leon? Yes. Get down. Get, that does not sound like... It's a different voice actor. Yeah, because, because, because in RE4 it was Mercer. Yes. That was the voice of Kennedy. I don't know who it is in this one, but... Um, that's a new guy. That's a new guy? Yeah. It's, it's not Troy it, Baker, is it? No, no. He's actually... And he mod he's... Oh, he oh, models him too? Yes. Okay, yeah. Because I'm like, he does not look the, he does not look the same. <laughs> Army of the Undead. Good luck, guys. And you have four shots in your gun? Yeah, I'll pick up some more. And yeah, see. <laughs> ah! yeah, you can tell, Leon was going to work to get his uniform. Yep. <laughs> and, he, and he overslept. That's funny. It is. I still find that funny that he overslept. So, this, uh, what's interesting about this game, at least this game, uh -huh. as opposed to the previous one, obviously, because the old one, the, the writing and the voice acting was pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, they kind of amp up the flirtiness with these two. Okay. Even though they never really had any chemistry in the previous games, but now people are like really shipping them. <laughs> yeah, even though um, even though Leon's got a thing for Ada. Yeah. He has but, a huge thing for Ada. But part of the joke is because Cl Chris uh -huh. wants Leon to continue the Redfield bloodline with Claire. Are you? Are, there's I can't remember. What, really? There's some in joke thing in one. What is this? In a game where like I don't. It's one of the side games where as Leon or someone finds an email by Chris saying like, if I don't make it, can you make sure the, the Redfield bloodline continues? Okay. So now all the new, so all, all, new all the new Resident like... Evil games, the fans are always going to say. With Leon, it's like, man, he better, better get Claire pregnant. Yeah, it's not it's like, ain't gonna happen. So. You can, I'm sorry. I've never played, like, Resident Evil 2. Yeah. But 
That is a very pretty cityscape, though. Yes. I do have to admit. This is considered, like, as a classic Resident Evil, this is always considered, like, the best one. Yes, it is. Well, because, I mean, it's just like, I mean, look at that. I mean, that looks like an actual city. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, but, you know, but that's um, cool. Anyway, what I was saying is, you, I don't, I don't know much about RE, RE2. I mean, I've seen, like, clips of it. Yeah. But I've seen clips where Ada and Leon are a thing. And, yeah. Ada doesn't want Leon, but Leon wants Ada. He does. <laughs> they, they do push that in this game, too. Yeah, because I'm now, like... To be fair, I mean, so you know that Ada is a spy. Yeah. She's using him. Yes. So. And Leon is too... I don't want to say gullible to understand it, too. She's game, using him. In this game, Leon's the, the gullible boy scout. Yes. And he still can't figure it out in RE4 that she, she, she's dead. No. It's like, Leon, he's a, take he's a, it, man. He's a little bit more cynical, but he's still like, God, you stupid idiot. I know, it's like, come on, Leon. Ada doesn't want you, man. Claire, if it, if the fans are shipping it, go with Claire. She obviously likes you, dude. Yeah. Although, in his defense, I would probably be like Leon because I would not be able to tell if a girl likes me at all because I because I am not like, wait, what? What do you want? Yeah. I'm like, wait, what? You like me? Oh, I didn't know that. Why didn't you just tell me? Yeah. Just tell me these things. Tell me. <laughs> tell me. Yeah. <laughs> so. Duh. I still can't. I... Leon does not look good in this. You know? No. I'm used to RE4, I guess. Oh. I mean, it's also like much higher res like yeah. graphic looks. Yeah, they, they really, really emphasize the butt chin on him. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Leon, Leon Kenny de- definitely has a butt chin in this game. <laughs> Looks like we're walking from here. No kidding, there's a roadblock. Yes. Um, ah, CPR. I'm assuming it's assuming a CPR. <laughs> oh no, zombies! He's doing CPR right now. That's not good. More like running. <laughs> ah, jeez, whoa! So, what's really uh, actually kind of creepy about the zombies in this game is that there's some really dark, like, pitch black areas. Yeah. And you just look around and there's a zombie with you right in your face. Well, yeah, well, because if there's anything that wants survival horror, it's jump scares. <laughs> um, guys, get out of the car! Oh no, he got, <laughs> he got bit. He had to make those deliveries. It was the last thing he'll do. <laughs> get out now! Yeah, no kidding! So get out! This is a recreation of the cutscene from the first Resident Yes, it is! Now do you have to play this? It's like a, like a, like no, a it's a cutscene. It's not like a context sensitive thing? No. Okay. Just make it sure, because cause that would not surprise me if they would do that right now. Uh, the, bi- the only difference is that. Who- ah! Jeez, man! Who you- um, what is- this is not Burnout! No. This is not Burnout! Well, you say that. <laughs> Classic movie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh. Ooh, oh, yeah. Tank guy, she, I can't think oh, of yeah. She, yeah, she looks. Whoa, well, she's. She looks hurt. <laughs> she looks hurt. Yeah, that's. That's an understatement. Whoa, she's whoa. Totally fine. <laughs> how how did how did you survive that? It's, that is it, not actual science. It's cutscene, so it doesn't count. <laughs> that is not actual science. Talk about a uh, raging. I know. It, it, I don't know much about like explosions. I, if it's explosions that big to knock you back, I think your your, your organs would be ruptured. Yes, yes. <laughs> if Mythbusters has proven anything, it's that that an actual explosion would actually rupture something. Claire, run! Okay, run! Yep. <laughs> yep, and now we run. So yeah, depending on who you play as, it depends on what side of the street they are on, on, right. uh, on the... Uh, well, yeah, because you can clearly tell they got separated in that yeah. crash. So if you play as Leon A, he ends up on this side, uh, whereas uh, Claire ends up on the other side. Yeah. If you play as on Claire, Leon one. ends up on the other. Yeah. So if I if you finish this, going to the B scenario, we'll go on the other side with Leon. Right. It's like the end of the world. <laughs> no kidding. I would say this is a really good looking game. It is. It is. I I do have to admit the graphics look really good. The rain. The rain. Looks like really, really good. And part of that thing is because the game is actually really linear, so they focus on just making it as good looking as possible. Yes. Linear games need to come back, man. These I, I like my open world games. Don't get me wrong, but there's something about linear games that are just like awesome, where you where you're just like on a set path. You know, it's very yeah. you know, it's very old school. <sighs> Push the gate. There we go. And Push it, Claire. Push it. Ah. <laughs> Push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. Yeah. Push it to the limit. Well, now that's over. I can now chill at the police station where yeah. nothing goes wrong. Sure, that's what they all say in the disaster movement. We made it to safety. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Famous last words. Nothing. I don't remember if there's anything to pick up around here. Uh, I don't think so. No, nope, look around. I don't think so. I think he's probably inside the station. Yep. Would be my guess. 
So, then let me go in. Yep. And here we go. Here's your main area of the game. Explore your surroundings. Anybody here? No! <laughs> Anybody here? No! You can't find us! Claire, we're playing a game of hide and seek, and you have to find everybody. <laughs> oh. You're it. You have to find everybody in hide and seek. Here's the map. And okay. And now we got a typewriter. Yes. Yay! Do a basic save just in case. Yep. And this is what I like about this game is that it's relatively faithful to the original. I mean, they, they changed the plot around a little bit, but it's mostly, um, and they just update things. Yeah. No ink ribbons. Yes! No ink ribbons. RPD. And look at that, that fancy 1998 laptop. Right? <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a very 1998 laptop. <laughs> you can tell. Because... <sighs> Oh, uh, I don't know. Even like curse you, Windows ninety five. Even for that, that is still pretty good looking for like footage on ninety eight. On a ninety, <laughs> as as a child of the nineties, Michael. Yeah. Yes, that looks that is actually decent footage for nineties. Yeah, security this is cameras. live security footage. Yes, that does not. I remember ninety security footage. It was not that good. <laughs> yeah. It was not that good. I should help this guy. Maybe. No kidding, Claire. <laughs> should help him. No, he's being chased by the undead. No, Claire, you should let him die. That's a, just that's, die. That's always a, that's always a good choice. Let him die. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out whoop, where is there he is. Um, to get rid of that, I don't need it anymore. You don't need the key anymore. Nope. It's, once the check mark means that you. Um, can... dude, check the chest. Oh that's, oh, that's for storage. Oh, never mind. I yeah. thought there was like something in there. Nope. So. Ooh. It's, ooh. Oh, I can't get this. Can't get that yet. It's a shotgun. It, 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 no, it's to open up this up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> duh, duh. This is what kind of bugs me about the game, which is like, I need a specific item to open this, even though she could easily just kind of pull the tape off. <laughs> yeah. It's like... It's like nope, I need a knife to like, cut. Well, again, look at the Batman Arkham thing. You couldn't progress yep. unless you could get through there. And I'm like, it's Batman. you tell me he couldn't, like, punch it or hack it? Game logic. <laughs> yeah. It's like, really? Ah, yes. Yay! First aid spray. They cure for anything. First aid spray. It cures everything. Pull this! Pull! It's, it is so chunky looking. <laughs> um, it says keep out. Maybe we shouldn't go in there. No, I gotta help that guy. Well, true. I mean, that's a very, that's a good thing to do. Yes. Yeah, she's gonna get eaten. She's gonna get eaten. Eaten. Just straight up eaten. She's gonna get eight. Eight. She's gonna get eight. <laughs> it's ain't good, Claire! I know, she seems really stringy. <laughs> Yeah, but at the same time, okay. Fuse, mm. yep, need a fuse, yep. yep, need a fuse, because you can't apparently, you know, which, I mean, which makes sense, you have to get a, but, and it is the 90s, so they would have fuses in the 90s, not everything is on circuit breakers. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, so what, what's the, you know why? Focus, either? Claire, focus, yes, Claire, focus, get out of your own head, I say, I have to say it to myself so all the time. With this particular police station, you know why there's giant statues and stuff everywhere? Because... Because they really like architecture. Yes and no. This <laughs> used to be an old art museum. That is just okay. converted into a police station. I was going to say, I'm like, the guy who runs this was like an art fanatic, and he just really likes ancient architecture. <laughs> and he just, like, you know, really collects it. Hey, handgun ammo. More guns. Yay. Handgun ammo is always good. <laughs> Through the doors! But I can't. No! So I go back this way. Through the doors! There you go. And flashlight, yep. Uh, I'm gonna move this real quick. No. Oh, I gotta hold it. Yep. Uh, come on, Claire. Uh, use, this, use your muscles. Uh, there we go. Hold yeah, that. there we go. Uh, there we go. Nothing there. bad is happening, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad is happening. Yeah. I can just hear singing that in her head. <laughs> Nothing bad is happening, and I will be just fine. I'm going through this place, and there will not be something behind this random door. Oh my god. I got all this stuff I gotta do. Yep. Open up. Ah! No! Open up. I don't want to open up! <laughs> Pushy? Turn on low and it's a little bit... Pushy much? Yeah. Come on, I gotta help this guy. Pushy much? You take this! Sure. I... Sure! <laughs> Not pull you up first. Yeah. Take the, take take the, the thing! Deep. Take the thing! Ah! Ah! Ah, yeah! Uh, so, uh, it's a bit much. I don't know how the zombies uh, are doing this, but... Um, I kind of don't want to know. 
Ah, oh, that's that. Oh, that's disturbing. Hey, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Just... That's disturbing. That dude. Hey, we'll glue you back together. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's not. That's not cool. Close the door, Claire. It's 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 still closed. Do not obstruct. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I I cannot get over that. That is. Ah, oh, that is gross. Yep. So these are the help for the clues. Surprisingly, he's a really good artist for a dead guy. <laughs> yeah, it's such a such a video game thing. Must, like Nathan Drake would be proud. Yeah, yeah, he would be. Nathan Drake would be proud. Yeah. <laughs> Very proud. Ah! Tell me. Ah! Consent. Ah, nope. Well, dude, people need to start asking consent before they try to make out with you. I'm <laughs> ser serious, Cliff. You gotta, you gotta oh. tell him that. Consent, man. Always ask consent. Let me go back. Before giving hickeys, always ask consent. Oh no! Oh, jeez. Yep. Ooh, that was a dead shot. That's dead. Hopefully that was a. Hopefully that was a dead. Hopefully that was a dead or a kill shot. Yeah, their their head explodes. They're dead. Okay. Now you gotta go through here. Yeah. Slowly. You can't just like you know roll under it like you would normally well, do. Well, it's like stuck. So. Well, yeah, but you could still probably like eh, like that. I'm shocked that she does not get bit here. I know. Kick him, Claire! Come yeah. on! There you go. And... and ooh. Is it Barry? No. Barry's not in this game. Oh, no, it's... Uh, what the heck his name is? This is Marvin. Mar that's it. Marvin. Marvin Brown. And you uh, already bit. Yeah? Yeah, he ain't gonna survive, man. I'm calling this now. Marvin's not gonna survive. <laughs> yeah, it happens. He get, he turns, but he survives. I mean, he managed to fight off the infection for a really long. I'm time. I'm just saying, like most like most NPCs <laughs> and video game characters, yeah. he's not gonna survive. Uh, from my memory, is that like in the original game, he's barely a character. Yeah, yeah. But he's just the, there. They just to... they really add his character. And they, uh, and, well, that's good. And the character development's always good. The actor's really good. He really emotes. Good. Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Can't wait to be super sarcastic, Claire. <laughs> and also, like, uh, so if you're playing, if it's this version you're playing as Leon, he acts differently towards him. Because right, he's a yeah. cop, so he's a little bit more, like, matter of fact. Yeah. Right. Whereas with her, he's more, like, hopeful. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's on vacation. I don't want to say there's probably, like, double meanings to the word hopeful, but mm -hmm. there could be double meanings to the word hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> but he's trying to keep her going. And yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Again, that's the good way of saying it. Yeah. The other, the other way of saying it is, you know, end of the world. You know, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's that. I'm hopeful, but I don't want to go that far. So this is a bit weird. So, in this universe, this is the first time Claire has ever seen encountered zombies. Uh, but already calls them zombies. Yeah, that makes no sense. I think zombie fiction to a point exists in this universe, but like not like Romero zombies, just... Yeah. I don't oh! Know. So now it's... Is that a machete? Uh, no, it's a... Um, Shotgun? I think it's a knife. I forgot. Oh. It's not like Leon's huge knife that he has in his... Uh, oh, no. In this game, you have disposable co uh, defense knives, which are... Uh, when the zombies grab you, if you have them, you can use them to uh, oh, stab them. Jam in the face, right? Yeah. Uh, in um, in the third remake, uh, Jill has a knife on all the time that she right. can use. Right. So now, yep. So he's got a combat knife. So I can use it as a, as it's a, a sub weapon, right? Yep. Ready sub weapon. Find three medallions. Eh. Eh. Classic. Eh. Yep. Cla yep. Classic knife fight. Eh. 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 Mister Slash it. Slash it. So I gotta find yeah, three medallions because you know reasons. View files. Files? There we what go. files? <laughs> Sorry. If Dan were here, he would he would appreciate that, Joe. Yes, he would. So they're already giving the clues of the different statues. Right. So you need a unicorn statue. And one more time, then double check. Officer's notebook. So line head, arrow, bird. Yep, and this is not with this. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's lion statue. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lion head, uh, bird. This, and then. There you go. You got the first one. Lion head. Lion medallion. Brr, I'm a lion. <laughs> Brr, I'm a lion. And this is different from the original game. I think there's like, you had to find like gems and statue eyes or something. Yeah, that would not, would not surprise me any. So then you just... 
Oh, okay. And that's the first way of opening it up. So, is there an elevator under there? Uh, it's, a. Uh, it's, yes. It's, a uh, okay. access to, like, this maintenance tunnel that leads to the sewer system. That seems really overcomplicated. It is, it and is. And I'm like, dude... In most in most buildings, it's not that complicated to get to the under part. Well, of look, I need the spade key to get the spade done. <laughs> Are you the ace of spades? Ace of spades. Are you the ace now, of spades? I'm going to spoil it here because we're not going to get through this whole game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chief Irons is secretly working with Umbrella. Yeah. I and this is figure. that is a way he secretly accesses through Umbrella oh, facility. So, so he is the ace of spades. Yeah. I want to get. To, I want to get to a possible brief quick. Um, Interaction with Leon. Okay. I mean, yeah. granted, I can watch Claire run all day, but that's beside <laughs> the point. Oh, my... Oh! That'd be, like, blinding me because it's all of a sudden dark, and then yeah. he can open up to a bright room. It's like, ah! Hey, Jeez. Herb. Ah, oh, you talk about a flash effect. Ah, oh, or... or sh talk about... Talk about being super bright. Oh, no. Say, okay. I don't have the clue for that, even though I, if I remembered, I, I, I could actually get it now, but... I don't. It's too bad Claire can't pick locks. <laughs> No, she's not the like master. Jill, you know, she is the master of unlocking. Oh, yeah. Ah, here's a foreshadowing the orphanage. Orphanage, yep. I need more of the speed key. No! Who turns museum into police station? That's exactly what I'd like to know, Claire. <laughs> I'm questioning the architect's decision on that. So I think I can now open this. There we go. So you had to get the knife first in order to open it. This, this big comical sized lever. <laughs> yeah, I wish those existed in real life. Right? It's like, by the way, pull this. The I, big comical lever, pull this. I want a big floor level for my garage. <laughs> yeah. <You gotta laughs> completely unnecessary and a waste of time. <laughs> right? Are you going to combine herbs? Yes, combine. Combine. And now it looks like weed. It is weed. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but that looks like weed. <laughs> it's uh, it, it's the funniest thing is it's a plant that's only found in the low in the mountains, the Arklay Mountains. And we're in. Is this supposed to be the Arklay Mountains? Uh, yes. Yeah, the uh, Raccoon City is right. Um, the basics of Sulu. Right at the base of the mountains. I might so actually play this game on my own. Huh? Engineered it. It's like, it's a really fun game. Yeah, I might play this on my and own. And if you know, if you are really good, you can speed run this whole like game in under an hour. Really? Yeah. If you're really good. Really good. Are you really good, Michael? No. Okay. <laughs> I played. I I played. Uh, I actually. Uh, this is seventy three bird yeah. hitting East River. So touchdown. I did play through uh, RE three. Dude, he's twice. dead. Yeah. He's a zombie. He's gonna glare. Don't. He's gonna bite. He's yeah. gonna bite. No, he did. He's, he's gonna, gonna bite. Guy. Gross. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's dead. So a zombie did not kill him. No, something else did. It rhymes with sticker. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me they have... Really? Yep. Ah, oh, dude, that is... Dude, that is not... So, that is not a way to pull a tooth. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, for the timeline of Resident Evil 2 and 3, Resident Evil 3 already happened. Oh! This, this is, the Resident Evil 3 takes place the day before Resident Evil 2. So when I play that as uh, Carlos, not J uh, not Jill, Carlos sees what happens to these cops. Ah, uh, uh, dude, that's like some PTSD stuff. Oh, I need the clover. Key. No, we got no. It's, it's clubs, Michael. I know, but I like to say the clover because <laughs> it's green. Because it's green. Because yep. it's green. Yep, liquor. And unfortunately, it's not four leaves. It's three leaves. Obviously, it's not very lucky. No, I gotta start finding pallets so I can cover these windows where zombies eventually keep pouring in. Very Resident Evil Four. Yep. Hey! Yeah, right there! Yep. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh, there, yep, she came in. There you go. Do I need to kill Dude, her? she must really, like, want to get in. I want my tickets! I want my t This is not where you buy tickets! You buy tickets online for the show! It's you do not buy tickets at the police station, ma'am! Ma'am! She did? No. <laughs> of course, stab her! Now she- come on. Yep. Nope, she is still Jeez. Alive. Yeah, these are very durable zombies. Yeah! I don't remember zombies being being this durable. Um, what's interesting is that in this game, you can like you can just shoot off all their limbs. And they still come after still, you? As long as their head's intact. Wow. Yep. I mean, they, they, all, they can't move, but they're, they're still alive. Right, but that's kind of that's kind of torture to the zombie if, they, if you shoot their limbs off and they can't move. They don't feel anything and they're technically dead. I, uh, yeah, but I'd still feel bad about it because it's still technically a person. Yeah, it's a, I think more of it's just, it's just meat. I guess. 
If you if you want to think of it that way. This game clues. More uh, map. Yep. Yep. More map. The, yep. More map. Part from the controller. Yep. So yeah. And I'll go uh-huh. from here. And now we go to the air vent because that's a that's, oh, that's a, a window. Oh, it's a window. I yeah. thought it was an air vent. Oh. No. You have to go by that guy. He's a zombie, isn't he? No. Yep. He's he's a zombie, he wants isn't he? his candy. I want. Go back to that. Go back. Yeah. I want my Kit Kat. Give me my Kit Kat. You. <laughs> You ate my dollar again, you stupid vending machine! <laughs> Chocolate! Very, Chocolate! Very George A. Romero. Yes! Jeez, alright, well... I am, yeah. You got if, you, if, you play, if you play smart, you can just start drowning in ammo. Go, oh, it, uses of gunpowder. Yep. Handgun ammo. Acid rounds. So you can basically make your own ammo. Yes. Because apparently Claire knows... Basic chemistry. Oh, she was given uh, basic training. Yeah, but she knows basic chemistry? Yeah. I don't even know basic chemistry. Neither do I, but she does. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, she saw she saw instructions. I guess. Oh, come on. Ah! ah! <laughs> I didn't even see that guy! Me neither. Ah! That's what happened. Oh, it's the guy from the vending machine. It is the guy from the... I guess he got his chocolate and now he's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he got his Kit Kat guy. I guess he wanted his Kit Kat bar out of the, out yeah. of the vending machine. Oh, no. Reload? Yeah. No, because he he attacked me from behind and couldn't use my knife. Right. Stop wasting your ammo, Michael. I think he's, uh... Yeah, at this point, I'm not as far as I'm going to go. Operation, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just talking about, like, you know, yep. the, the police officer trying to survive. Yep, trying to survive a zombie apocalypse because, you know, reasons. Yep. How do you know when they're dead? When they, when they stop moving, when you hit them. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> so if you slash them enough times. Yep. You, and you unfortunately, you don't know the combination nope. of the padlock. Nope. That's probably like how speedrunners... <laughs> don't need no stinking gun! Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. You shine your light out, and I just saw him move. Move his like a whole snake is yeah. going to come up. Yeah, like, shot, ah! shot his leg off, so he's... He can't, can't walk he can't, anymore. He can't, well, he can chase you, but he's not going to be very effective. No. So, yeah. Look. Hey, welcome, Leon. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> welcome, Leon. Look, this is a city of 100,000 people. They must... The crime must not happen much because they're so bored. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now we have another safe room. Yay! You want to call it here, Michael? I will call it here. Okay, that'll hold him. Well, guys, this has been a fun little play romp through the, through a very scary hellscape of Resident Evil. Um, we didn't get to catch up with Leon no, yet. We did but not, but that'll be that'll be later if we decide to continue this game. Yes. Um, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching us, and uh, happy Halloween, everybody! Spooky, spooky, scary. Bye. Bye.